Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jamar84 here once again. Now, I know I just gave put out the, uh, the Scandal review, but bitch. <laughs> if you have been living under a rock or in the crack of somebody's ass, that means that you did not know that Beyonce decided to just drop an album today. Just handed it over to iTunes and just call it a day. <clears throat> so, yeah, you, you heard that shit right. Beyonce... After all this snippets after snippet after snippet and mini clip after mini clip of random videos and songs, she just drops the album. <laughs> now, um, as she dropped this, I think it, I think she dropped it either at midnight or an hour before midnight. Who knows between what the time zone says, but. <clears throat> Homegirl, uh, when she dropped the album, she dropped a video that pretty much explained what it was that she was doing. She uh, she wanted to kind of go back to how when music, we used to enjoy, I guess, music for, you know, the artists and, you know, just how to have that connection between, you know, the song and the music and the artists. And she felt like that was kind of missing in pop music today when it's more so surrounded amongst the hype of the music instead of just the music itself uh and it's all about you know what's the single gonna be and a lot of times you know songs get overlooked just by you know the hype of just one song like the single of the song will over uh overshadow other songs on the album that may not get as much attention so <clears throat> what her she decided to do she decided to release what she's calling a visual album there are 14 songs on the album and 17 videos, okay? Uh, well, really, there's only 16 because there's a credits video, which I felt was unnecessary, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and the songs that have videos but don't have, like, regular songs, which is weird, is, like, a song called Ghost, and then there's Yonce and what else? Uh... There's another one. What is it? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me look at it. Because, you know, I don't want to be telling no lies to nobody. And then somebody come from my ass. But, uh, let me see. Da -da 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 Grown Woman. Yeah, that, that's what it was. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I understand. Because she, she makes a good point. When, especially, I guess, when you're somebody as big as she is. When you... Are saying I'm about to put out a record or you decide the name just of what your uh, album is going to be or what the single is called it's going to be so much hype driven off of you know what this is going to be that it's kind of like it's almost like a disco like they only listen to like only a certain bit and then they'll be like they'll decide whether or not they like it or not and she thought it best to shoot a video for every single song on the album so every song has a video, no more, oh, I wish what this would look like, and I wonder what the video would be for this. We're getting a video for every single album, every single song, and, um, oh, that's another good point that she made. She was like, we, or I like to, you know, envision, well, like, when I hear music, I see music. Like, whenever she hears something, she always sees something in her head, and I, know, I'm, I'm, I thought that I was the only crazy one, because that's the same way that I am with a lot of my songs. Like, a lot of songs that I say that I like, whenever I hear it, I always see something in my head of how, like, a video would go or a performance would go, and what's interesting about it is that sometimes it changes depending on what my mood is for the time at the moment when I listen to the song so I was definitely uh, I felt her understood where she was coming from with that so um, the idea for this visual album for her for us to kind of see it and hear it all at the same time is very a very interesting idea I, um, I uh, agree with her method and this is what Lady Gaga was trying to do well, initially was the plan, anyways, for applause, but at the time, uh, it leaked, and so she wanted us to kind of hear applause and see it at the same time, because she thought she was like a visual artist where it makes, it would convey easier if they could see it and hear it at the same time and not have to hear it, get their own opinion, and then see it. 
So, um, <clears throat> but you know, we are, you know, Lady Gaga ended up releasing the song early because it leaked. So she was just like, well, since y'all want the song so bad, let's just let it go. But anyway, back to this album. Um, it's not a typical Beyonce esque album. Like, when people think about Beyonce, most people assume, or I think people think about, you know, the kind of cunty, feministic music, and I don't get that from this album, honestly. Uh, this album, to me, like, there's just a stripped cover. There's only, this, the album is just called Beyonce. It's self-titled. There's no album artwork. It's just a black screen, and, and it says Beyonce in pink font. Regular, just pink font. So there's nothing really, like, you know, to kind of take away from, I guess, the music is what she's trying to do. And um, some of my instant favorites from listening to the song, the album uh, a couple of times through, a couple of times, um, Pretty Hurts is probably one of my favorites. Uh, I love the chorus on that one. It's really, really nice. Haunted? Haunted was kind of odd. The, even in the video and the song, it was a little weird. It was a little dark. I may have to watch, maybe watch that again to kind of get a, you know, gist of what that was supposed to be. Drunk in Love featuring Jay-Z is just, you know, on the videos, because uh, I tried to watch all the videos as I listened to the song for the first time to get what she was trying to do. And at first I was like, eh, but as the song went on, I'm like, okay, I can see how this can kind of grow on me. Blow, Blow is like that, <laughs> it's like a skating 70s you know, kind of upbeat uh, song. And Todrick, Todrick Hall was actually trying to tell me about this video because he, uh, him and I had met, uh, I think it was like late September, and he was telling me that, you know, Beyonce was in town shooting for a music video, but, you know, he really couldn't tell me any real details about it. So at the time, I was just like, you know, well, you know, what do you think about the song in general from what you've heard? And he was like, well... It's not necessarily, you know, my favorite song, and but, you know, I helped with the choreography, so I was like, okay, well, you know, that kind of made me wonder, like, well, mm, I know he's a big fan. If it's not his favorite, I wonder what it was going to sound like. But I still like the song. He was in the video for, like, a split second, so that was still amazing for what it is. But I like Blow. I think Blow is really, really cute. Moving right along, No Angel. Now, in my opinion, No Angel is a song that works that worked better for me without the visual. I saw the visual first, got a little confused, and was like, hmm. And I listened to it without it, I was like, okay, I can vibe with this much better without the video. Partition, girl, you nasty. <laughs> she was just, it, it, I, I swore in, in the midst of all those metaphors she was making, she pretty much said that she wanted Jay-Z to come on her dress. That's what, that's, look, listen to the song, just listen to the song. I'm, I know I'm not crazy, but we're going to keep it moving. <laughs> Jealous is self-explanatory. You know, she was talking about, you know, I do all these things. I'm this, I'm that, and you treat me this way. I guess I'm just jealous. But I, and this was that uh, video that she was walking around with that orange peacoat or that, is that orange? Like a dark red? I can't remember. I can't play the color right now. But um the next song is rocket rocket is another like sexual peak song i don't know if i i want to say if you can use it in the bedroom but it's kind of not i don't know maybe with more listens you'll get used to it but it's another sexual song she's really getting a lot more sexual on this album but it's kind of soothing at the same time which i like it's um kind of calming to the ear it's not really like up tempo and in your face so I can appreciate that. And probably one of my favorites from this is this mine with Drake on it. It it, it just takes me there. <laughs> it really does just take me there. And I can really get into the vibe of the song. I really, really like it. Just basically like, you know, as long as you know that you mine, we cool. <laughs> um, and then the next song is XO. Like this was the song that was reportedly her next or her first single actually. Um, and it was kind of speculating when she was like in the crowd making people pull up, you know, X's and O's in the middle of a concert. So I was like, oh, okay, is this like a hint to the next single? But it's a really fun song. And she's just really shot like a lot of these videos, uh, candid with other like fans who probably didn't even know they were being shot for a music video. They just thought they were just following her around. 
but I think it, it was really nice. It's really like a a love song, you know, I love you with my EXO, I love you like EXO. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's cute. The next song is Flawless featuring something that I can't pronounce. And it's pretty much the first half of Bow Down, and then the second half is just some... It just goes into a ratchet frenzy. <clears throat> Basically, like, bitch, we flaw... Look, talk about me and my girls, we flawless. Look, I wake up like this, I wake up like this, and we just flawless, bitch. So, you know, all the girls are just gonna be getting their life off of that, thinking they the shit <laughs> off that song. But it's really, really nice. Next song is called Superpower. I watched the video, listened to the song. Kelly and uh, Michelle are in the video, so it's always good to see them together. I wish they would just stop playing all these games, recording songs with each other, and not putting out an album, but you know, that's another video. Um, but this is the song I really couldn't, I was watching it, and I just like, I couldn't get into it. I couldn't really get into what the song was supposed to be about. Maybe after a few more listens, I'll get into it, but the first go around with the video, I was like, huh? I was kind of confused, you know, but... Um, moving right along, we have Heaven. Heaven is pretty much just a song, it's kind of repetitive, but it's kind of like, you know, Heaven couldn't wait for you. I guess she was talking about a dear friend that she may have lost, or is, that's what, at least the character, I don't know if that's uh, a reflection of real life or not, but uh, it's pretty much a song that's saying, you know, Heaven couldn't wait for you, so, you know, you have to go and be with the Lord. And she was just uh, sad, kind of, in the video, she was remembering, you know, fun time that she had with the person and saying that heaven couldn't wait for you so they had to take her early so it was almost kind of sad and she was crying so I believe a lot of people can identify with that uh let's see moving right along blue featuring blue ivy this was such a cute video she was pretty much it was pretty much just old to her daughter saying how happy she makes her and then had with featuring blue ivy she was just kind of <laughs> baby cooing on the on the song kind of like what Jay-Z did well, Jay Z was just crying because when she was first born, but she's kind of like talking and saying mommy, it was really really cute. In the video, she was uh looked happy for once because sometimes them pictures that be coming out, she'd be looking like she pissed. <laughs> but uh, let's see the videos that didn't that were just videos and not songs were Ghost and Ghost, she was kind of like. I don't even I don't even know how to describe it, was like she was kind of pissed off, like you know. Uh, this song ain't gonna be for sale. I probably won't make no money off this. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know. She was trying to make a statement. I really have to get more into the song to kind of figure out exactly what that statement is. But the visual was really, really nice. And the uh, Yonce is just another ratchet theme. Like it's <laughs> another song for like the urban, the urban crowd. And lastly. We got this grown woman full video. Now, there was some minor lyrical changes in the video and some just very minute changes, but overall, every time, every version that has come out after the initial one that leaked has just not been up to par. Like, <laughs> like she, she tried to take the cussing out one time and now she's trying to alter the lyrics and change just the first the first uh draft that we heard was the best draft girl so just leave it leave it at that but overall <clears throat> i hate that i kind of had to rush through the album but uh the album itself i feel like is very interesting the way that she kind of just put it all out at once and just threw it at us and we just had no warning we was all minding our own business and then the next thing we knew and there was a Beyonce album on iTunes and we were just like what, what? <laughs> after all this time after all the speculation we finally got what the fuck we wanted so hey <laughs> here's to uh, I wonder I guess she's supposed to be releasing two more singles to radio airplay later on so we'll see how that goes um, let, let me know in the comments which are your favorite songs, which are your favorite videos, which song that you like so far. Um, like I said, my favorites are EXO, Pretty Hurts, and um, Flawless. Those are my favorites. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, thank you guys for commenting and sharing and all this other uh, good stuff. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.